what this is showing here is the bright the bright yellow and, and the red they're the hard targets that's that's the uh, the uh, targets that are re reflecting the, the sound uh, very strongly mm. um, we use a, a color palette uh, to give you an indication of signal strength uh, so it aids building up the the, the picture and the image uh, and um, you can sort of navigate towards that wall and uh, it's it's giving some uh, reflections off that it looks like the propeller of a ship yeah this is a small tugboat but they have quite big propeller and rudder so I guess it's the yeah. the rudder really giving the the most echo here in the in the right of the video Yes, that's right. Mm. That's the solid line there. That's giving a good reflection. Of course, now we have quite good visibility during uh, these recordings, but typically in in many commercial harbors, the visibility will be uh, quite poor. And what, what was interesting there is that you were actually using it for effectively inspecting that that mm. uh, the rudder. Um, you know, you're stretching the ability of, of the sonar. You're not just using it for navigating, you're using it for navigating to the, the target and then uh, inspecting it. You're able to um, get the sonar image of, of the, the runner. And what we could see with, with uh, the multi-beam is you might not pick out every detail of the rudder or uh, the propeller, but you can certainly decide that is what you're seeing. And uh, also with the with the range, you can say, okay, I'm 30 meters away from the rudder. Then, then you know where you are on the ship. And in your navigation of the, the vehicle around the harbor, you will be aware of any hazards or obstacles, uh, and you you'll be aware of your your position within the the, the harbor environment as well.